Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, hi, my name is Eric and I stream almost every day. So if you guys want to catch me live on Twitch, join my Discord or follow me on any other social media that's going to all be in the description. You already know the drill. Today, guys, we are playing a full commentary of Diana with her new and beautiful prestige skin. And hopefully I'll teach you guys how to play Diana at least in your ranked games, maybe give you guys some tips on mid lane in general. And yeah, this is like a pretty high low game, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys like this kind of video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. It really means a lot to me and uh, liking the video is like one of the best ways for me to tell like whether you guys like this kind of video or don't like it. And yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, amazing night, whenever you're watching this. And I hope you, if you celebrate the holidays, you guys have really, really nice holidays with your families and celebrate it and all of that good stuff. But with all that being said, let us get into the game. So I'm playing Diana into an Echo and they have, or I have Graves as my jungler and they have Nunu as their jungler. So something I really want to focus on in this game in specific is I really want to focus on jungle tracking, right? Uh, I feel like recently I've been getting lazy with my jungle tracking. Not that I don't know how to do it, it's just that I've been getting lazy with it and it's come and bit me in the butt quite a lot. So I really want to prioritize that. So how we're going to do that is we're going to try to see what lane or what buff Nunu starts. And we can tell that by paying attention to see what side lane goes into late and late. Because that means they leashed, right? So we're going to pay attention to that on our mini maps and see. So it seems like he started blue buff. Because you saw Aurelian Soul win into lane instantly after the wave came in and bot lane didn't, right? So that, to me, tells me that, uh, yeah, he started the blue buff. Okay, what is this? Well, he started blue buff, and then he went straight to mid lane, so he went literally buff mid lane. Nunu's like a pretty cheesing jungler. He likes to do like those kinds of games. I'm happy I have phase rush and got that proc there. I honestly didn't expect that. But it seems like he's going straight up to his red right now, actually, too. Which is also interesting. I think Diana's actually pretty good right now, and I actually made a mid lane tier list, so if you guys want to see my mid lane tier list, I'll link it in the description for you guys to, uh, to check out. Just gonna use that ability on there. Hopefully I'm able to get this one too. No, that one was already too low. It's fine, we're around the same CS. And we know that Nunu went top side, right? So we're gonna go ahead and pug bot side, because we know where Nunu is, or at least partially where Nunu is. Uh, when you play Diana, if you saw right there, what you always want to like aim for is you want to aim for Qs that not only hit the uh, the wave, but also hit the enemy. I'm okay with that. I mean, it's kind of like what I have to do. I feel like Nunu might be coming mid lane again, though. Nunu loves ganking mid lane. Like, I mean, like, he sees mid lane, he's frothing at, like, the lip set at, like, a gank. So I really just have to play at my turret right now. There's not much I could do. Graves is just farming up. Our win condition this game, I would say, is definitely bot lane and Graves. If Graves gets ahead, we win. If bot lane gets ahead, we win, too. I'm kind of like a secondary win condition, like it's nice if I get ahead, but like, you know, I wouldn't say I'm like our primary one. So it doesn't matter too much if I just farm it up like this, so long as I uh, don't think he should really go for this one here though, I'm gonna be honest. Nunu's gonna be there and I just don't think we win it. Yeah, so I don't want Graves to do this because we know Nunu's top side. I don't have priority in my lane and bot lane doesn't have priority, or top lane doesn't have priority in his. Okay, but I guess not. I'm very confused, I have absolutely no idea where Nunu is. What is he doing? He might be on like these or something. He, I'm pretty sure he's top lane still. Like, there's, oh no, he's bot lane. What the? Guys, our jungle tracking is weird. Tracking a new new is just like good luck. All right, I'm fine with that. I got to my phase rush proc, and I did not get the third hit. This is the weirdest thing in the world. So new new, I think what he did is he went blue buff mid lane. Oh, I'm on my way over here. This could actually be pretty good for us. All right. We take those, we take those. I mean, of course, we take those free kills. Yeah, so this new news pathing was blue buff, mid lane, rafters, red buff, bot lane. Or maybe he didn't even do rafters. Maybe he just went to red buff straight to bot lane again. I honestly have no idea. Yeah, it kind of sucks right here. I think I have to give that cannon. I do, sadly. The wave's in a pretty bad spot for me. I'm going to actually ping my graves uh, and help and try to tell... Or tell him to come help me reset. So I don't want to miss out on a whole wave. And if Graves doesn't come mid, I'm going to miss out on a whole wave. <laughs> Alright, good. He's listening. Thank God he's listening. And I think he knows too. So I just need his help pretty much getting the wave crashing. But yeah, he for sure knows. I need for sure to get the wave crashing. And we're good. And now we can go for a recall. Thank you, thank you, Graves. For our first item, we're going to be going Nasher's Tooth. I'm actually going a build that I saw on like... Uh, some Diana mains use, and I actually really like it. So you go Nasher's Tooth as your first item, and then as your second item, you go, um, what's it called? The second item, you go your Mythic of Night Harvester. 
So first thing we're going to go is the blasting one inside of the Nasher's Tooth. And yeah, now we're going to run back to our lane. Sadly, we still miss out on quite a few minions. We're actually down a lot of CS as well. Um, I just feel like it's the way the matchup goes. I have to play so scared of the Nunu all the time. But it's fine. This CS deficit, it's like an early game CS deficit. We can get over it. Like it's, it, it pains me to see like the CS look so like bad. But I just remind myself that like, you know, it won't matter in like five minutes. Probably. So I'm going to shove out the wave here really hard now. Uh, get some priority and we, we might even be able to do dragon here. Yeah, I'm going to go, go over here and see what we can do. I'm going to ping actually Graves to go do dragon. I think we should force it. Okay. All right. So Graves has a point here. So he says that Nunu's recalled and he's not. Listen. So Echo's level six as well. What Echo's like to do is they do this little like annoying trick where they don't level up their ult until like they need it. And then, yeah. So they, they kind of like make you think that they don't have their ult and then they level it up and they do have it. So we just have to remind ourselves, like, even though it looks like he doesn't have his ult up, he does have it. Alright, we see Nunu. He might be coming mid. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, we're gonna go for this crab here now. And I'm actually gonna go over here and help him too. He should get the crab here for free. Good, good, good. So what I'm doing this game a really good job at is I'm doing a good job at helping my jungler. Like, I'm actually enabling my Graves to do a lot of these plays by just uh, pressuring on the right side at the right time and stuff like that. So I would say I'm doing a good job at reading the map and a good job at, like, helping Graves and, like, knowing what our team needs. Here we just do Dragon. Something that I want to get better at as well is kind of shot calling his solo queue. Oh, wait, why is he here? Bruh, why is, why is they sold my level, a level 5? I mean, I could just ult them. Sure. I guess if he really wants to die, like, I'm not going to be the one to say no. But, like, what is this? Oh, he doesn't have mana for his ult, actually. Nice, okay. So that was really good. That was a 4 for 1. We take those. We actually really do take those. And I'm just going to go now and shove out my wave. Echo is dead. So we should be able to shove out the wave and make him miss some EXP. I think, uh, yeah, something that I just need to start doing once again is really just paying attention to my own jungler and being a little more map aware. Because especially right now with there being so many like really, really overtuned junglers, light graves, um, just being able to help them and give them that extra edge is really important. And even if you're in lower elo, like I know some people might be watching this and thinking like, oh yeah, but my jungler is in bronze, they don't do this. Um, there's still things you could do to help your junglers in bronze. Like, still paying attention to these things and playing, like, correctly will help you in games. Like, you should learn how to play correctly, right? And we're gonna be going Nasher's Tooth, like I said, for our first item here. And I'm gonna just go and get the Recurve Bow. And then, actually, I'm gonna go get the this thing first. We can do it like that. We get more value this way. So we're 2-0-1, but we're still down, like, half a level or something. It's probably more, like... Mm, probably like 10% of a level because I'm gonna get most of these minions. Maybe I'm even not down a level. I wonder if I'll get level 8 off of these. I feel like I might. So maybe I'm not even down EXP. Okay. That was very satisfying wave clear, I will admit it. Echo is trying to stun me here. I still got stunned, feels bad. He has his ult still though. Remember, he didn't use his ult in the last fight because he had no mana for it. So he's still holding on to leveling out his ult, which is really weird, but like, okay. Ooh, do I kill here now? Oh, that's so close, guys. I actually almost played that. I played that well, but I almost played that like perfectly. I'm gonna spam ping my Graves to come mid lane now. I hope Graves can come and help me because he has no, uh, no ult now. But he's gonna try to kill me here. He has no ignite either, and I do have a shield. Yeah, I think he might be dead here now. Echo. Nice. Okay, good. I love this Graves though. He's actually listening. If he didn't listen, I would just had to have recalled and then just taken like the L and lost just like two waves or something. But luckily, uh, Graves listened to my pings because I knew uh, we would be able to kill him, and we got him. 
I'm still sad though that Nunu didn't die there. Maybe I feel like I could have done something differently and killed him, but the monkey. Hmm. That kind of sucks. I think I kill him here now though. I do. I'm running. <laughs> Later, Nunu. He doesn't have ult here. I'm just gonna have to fight it. I'm still dead though. All right. I maybe should have just recalled. Oh, Shen had ult too. Mm, I don't know. Shen probably wouldn't have saved me there. But that was so funny. I, I, I like curb the, or like, you know, Matrix dodged the Nunu ball. And we're just gonna run back mid lane when we spawn. Uh, we're still down a bit of CS, but we're doing so much for our team, like, it doesn't matter. Does not matter, does not matter. It's just that I have to play under my turret this game too, because we saw this Nunu, what he wants to do. He's been hovering mid lane, he's been scary. And I would rather not feed the Nunu in the Echo, so I'm down with being, you know, I'm okay with being down 30 CS, but it means that I'm 3-1 and one, and my jungler is like two levels up on their jungler. Because remember, I'm not really like the primary win condition. Like, it's nice if I'm fed, but we don't win because I'm fed this game, I would say. We win because bot lane's fed and jungle's fed. Wait, my fucking... Get done. Ooh. Oh, guys, wait, what the heck? I oh, that scared me. Guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had Twitch app open, paused on like a streamer's chat, and um, they like just ended the stream and like hosted someone else. So it like auto started like the, 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 you know, that person's audio like not muted. And I was like, am I in a Discord call? Like, what is this? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm sure that scared someone else watching too. Anyways, we'll go balling. We'll dive Nunu here, no problem. Oh, that was pretty close. I mean, we still kill him, and he used his flashes uh, now too, so it's not too bad. We're gonna sell that and get our sword shoes. Uh, I hope we're able to get this mid or this bot turret before the mid turret. It's so weird though how the the A soul is playing this game. He's playing like he's playing as if he's like I don't even know. He's playing like he's singed, but he's uh, <laughs> but he's A soul. And the worst part is that he's only down four CS. When he's literally run volley like a hundred times. So don't understand what's going on with Shen, but no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. We got first turret, but I lost mid turret. Um I'm down a little bit. Yeah, it's very weird, the A Soul roams and stuff. Seems like they're going for dragon here as well, but there's nothing I could do about that. It's gone. I don't have a team nearby me, so no contest. I'm gonna look to just play towards top side here. If I can get a gank on this Aesol, that would be quite nice. Oh look, they killed. Yeah, I'm gonna go top lane here. We might actually be able to kill. We should be able to. Shen has flashed as well, so this is quite free. Oh, he missed it. He's still dead though. We take those. Did Aesol flash right there? I don't think so. Shen did though. Yeah, Shun kind of flopped there a little hard, but we're not going to flame him. <laughs> we're just going to accept and be happy that we got the kill. I was going to take that, but um, I showed restraint right there. Alright, so for my second item, we're going to go Night Harvester. I really hope that Echo doesn't like scale into a monster, but I think that we're pretty okay. Because what we don't have in, uh, in CS, we have in kills for sure. Like, he has one kill participation, guys, this game, and I have seven. Like, I have as much kill participation as their whole team has kills. Uh, I think Shen is now here too. That sucks. So something good about Diana is she's actually a really strong side laner. Diana, if she gets onto a turret, she like melts the turret. Uh, so she has that option available to her. So I would not mind side laning this game if my bot lane wants to go mid lane or something. Oh, this could be good. Yeah, it's ult, I guess. If she would have landed it, it would have been better, but it's not terrible. Uh, she's dead now. She's dead now, and I am running. And Aesol just rushed uh, Rylai's, and that means that he's going the Mandate build. So Aesol players, they really like going the Rylai's into Mandate build, like some mages have been doing recently. Uh, it makes each one of his stars deal additional damage. It's kind of OP. So that's definitely the build he's going for. Kind of have to just stay mid lane though right here. Ooh, Jin played that so well. 
<laughs> Jin actually just, he eaten a straight line to Ezreal and just, bah, got him. Okay. I'm gonna go over here and help my jungler. He doesn't have ult, so I'm, I would just flash him here. Like, I have no problem just flashing on Aesol right now. Yeah, he's dead. And I'm running to the... Oh, this could be good for us, too. I could maybe... Is that going to be good for me, or I'm inting? Okay, never mind. He, he, he healed, like, all of his health from that, so... I guess... We're not going. We're just gonna... I'm gonna show you guys how fast Diana ults to it here. Never mind. We are going. I'm not showing you guys nothing. We are moral support. Okay. Now we can show you guys how fast the turret melts. And I'm just gonna use my phase rush and run now. Uh, I hope we can do something here, but... Okay, good job, good job. Oh my god, I didn't realize I'm this slow. Oh god. Alright. Alright, Aesol, you got me. He just came out of nowhere. He killed me. I'm scared. Sorry, I believe in you. Never mind, I didn't believe enough. Unlucky. Alright, so we're gonna get our Hextech alternator here in a pink ward. And I think I kind of want to side lane, so we're gonna probably go bot lane here. Whenever you're side laning too, you want to pay attention to see like what objective's up. So like, if Herald was up for say, it'd be better if I go and Dragon wasn't, it'd be better if I side lane top lane, right? So I'm closer to the Herald because I don't have teleport. But in this case, Dragon's going to be spawning uh, next. And now I'm going to tell him to go top lane. Shen needs to go top lane. I need to go bot lane here. Because he has teleport and Dragon spawning soon. Shen, why are you going here? I guess I'm going mid lane. Okay, this is fine. It's okay, I guess. I These aren't the lane assignments that I would like. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong. I, I, you know, I like being wrong because I like learning. But... Yeah, I think that it'd be better if Shen was top lane and bot lane was mid lane. But it was kind of weird because, like, you know, they were making some weird fight top lane too. I don't know. I guess it's fine. But the point still stands about what I said about side laning. It's just that this scenario is really weird. So we're going to melt the turrets. I've been really enjoying Diana, though, this season. Like, I think she's actually really good. Like, really, really, really good. She's just, she feels nice to play. The skin is amazing, too, you know? The skin boosted at least two, two points on the scale of 1 to 10. And she feels good. And we are maxing our W second and our E last. And then for our next items after the Night Harvester, it's mostly just situational. Oh, okay, well that was good. Oh wait, maybe not. God, what is going on? I just was knocked around like a ping pong ball. I think my team just hard wins this though, hopefully. He almost has his mandate here. Oh yeah, Jin gets this. I believe Jin. Four! That's what you get, you get fourd. I think Graves wins this too. Graves is quite strong. Yeah, he wins that. All right, I died for their sins. <laughs> I died, I died. I look like this, so they can look like this. And big thank you too to everyone that's gone out and watched my streams recently. Uh, it's always like really exciting for me and happy for me when like I go on my stream and there's like a ton of new people that are like, hey, I really like your YouTube videos. This is my first time on your stream. And then I get to say hi to you guys. And then it's just like, now I know you. <laughs> Maybe that sounds weird, but I like it, I like it. So thanks guys. And for everyone who can't, like don't worry either. Like I love making YouTube videos. It's funny because it's like YouTube videos is like the time for me to like kind of talk to myself and kind of just talk about like the game and stuff. And then stream is where I get to talk to you guys. So it's like a good balance, I feel. I have like the two outlets. We're waiting for this blue buff. And I could definitely kill this ASL if I get on top of him. If I get on top of this ASL, he did. Yeah, I'm probably going to get a Zhonya's as my item after a uh, Night Harvester. Zhonya's is really good with Diana. It lets you just engage. Alright, I don't want to mess with him if I, uh, like that. Although, I do think I can kill him. He is actually quite strong. He's on his two item power spike, so he's, like, as strong as he's going to be this game. Hmm.
All right, well, that is three people top lane. No idea why they sent three for me, but okay. He should just be killed right here. Yeah, that's what he gets. And we can finish Night Harvester, so that's good. I guess I just wasn't, like, aware enough. Maybe we saw them somewhere, but I don't know. Kind of weird that they sent everyone there. It's not actually weird. I'm just making excuses for my bad plays. <laughs> but guys, yeah, be more careful than me. I kind of tunneled on him. There is a way they do this, but there is also not a way they do this. They don't do Baron quickly. Like, sure, they have a Nunu, but they literally have an Ezreal ADC. And I don't think they do enough damage at all. Okay, we're going to go top lane. And... Oh... Alright, well that's a flash on that guy. We're not gonna go top lane anymore. The wave's already like doomed. Or not doomed, but it's not like, you know, at the turret. Like, I wanna go top lane. This is like solo queue. And it's just like, I know if I go top lane the second I go there, it's just gonna be really bad. Then my team's gonna 4v5, we're gonna lose the fight, and then my day to get Baron, and we're just crying for the rest of the day and lose the game, and you know, all the bad things. I'm going for this Nunu. After what this Nunu did to me. Mm -mm, Nunu. You're not living. Alistar, I remember what you did to me too. No. Well, I mean, my flash, I guess, let Echo not teleport that far away. Well, hopefully they're able to kill Aesol too and not all die to him. That would suck if they all died to Aesol. No, I think he's just dead here. Nice. Okay. We take those. And for my next item, we're going to go Zanyas, like I said. Zanyas will be pretty nice. Lots of gray screens this game. Lots of gray screens, guys, where I get to just talk to you. <laughs> uh, so the next objective now is Baron, so I think that's what we want to focus, really. Uh, we can look to get some vision control of it and then maybe make some picks around there. If not, we have to play for Dragon, which is okay, too. Uh, I think we're in a state right now that we pretty much win any 5v5 kind of fight, so it's okay if we, uh, wh whichever objective we kind of go for. Bring down the sun. Okay. Blah. I want to go in here very badly. But I don't know, I do not think it would end well. Considering we don't know where anyone is on the map. Okay, so we decided that we're just going to play for the dragon, which is totally fine. As long as they don't do Baron, this is perfectly okay with me. Yeah, although Echo has a lot of CS, um, we're pretty similar in terms of gold. I'm just going to pick up this wave here. Going to go mid lane. Uh, they might not even need me, though. Jin is... Doing pretty well. It's just like, yeah, Nunu is one of these junglers that whenever a mid laner sees, they just like roll their eyes. Actually, my mid lane main's watching this right now. What do you? What is your least favorite and most, or just least favorite? What, what is your least favorite jungler to play against? For me, it's like Nunu and Zac. Those two champ and Shaco. Nunu, Shaq, Shaco, and Zac are my least favorite junglers to play against because I feel like they can't mid lane. Every game. Every time they're locked in, it's just like, alright, I guess I just can't 1v1 my laner because it's just, you know, not going to be a thing. Yeah, Shen's right. So, remember how I was talking about earlier where you want to send Shen to the opposite side of the objective? Oh, am I dead here? I hope not. I think I'm fine. See if he ults me. He might. Kind of playing away from his ult here, though. All right, let's uh, just recall. Let's recall, get our stopwatch, and then uh, play for the Baron. So we're gonna get blue buff here, and then Graves, what is he doing? So he's gonna go for his camp and probably go work his way up or recall, something like that, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna go get the blue buff. And I have 258 AP as of right now. Yeah, we just pressure this. We get a pick. Oh, wait.
Thank God I have phase rush. I love the phase rush. You see, we just proc it insanely quick. Ooh, this is really close to being really good. Okay. There's my pop off. He forgets I have a shield. Okay, unofficial quadruple right there. Love to see it. That was pretty good. We echoes here though, so don't really want to mess with him. Uh, that was really good. I feel good about that. Good job, Eric. Honestly, good job, Eric. In the comments. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna go for over here, I guess. We're just gonna go for these, and we're gonna get them. And then we're gonna recall, and then we're gonna get our Zanyas, and then we're gonna kill everyone. So let's get our Zanyas, and then let's get... For my next item, I'm thinking about going maybe uh, um, either a Void Staff or an Oblivion Orb for some healing reduction. Probably just Void Staff though is the best. I don't think Diana is really that good at proccing like Oblivion Orb or, you know, healing reduction that consistently. So I'm just going to opt in for the Void Staff. I already have kind of the core items I need. Like with Zanyas on Diana, you can just ult into their whole team R, Zanyas, just, you know, kind of like a mini Lissandra kind of type deal. And the phase rush rune, like to talk about it a little bit more. So how, why I think it's so good on Diana and why a lot of people like it is because Diana's problem is that she's really good at one thing. She's really good at going in, but she's not very good at going out. So what phase rush allows you to do is it allows you to kind of have like a fake escape because you just move super duper fast and you proc it really quickly. So that's why a lot of people like it on Diana. It gives her a bit of an escape. And we can just go honestly to the Baron. Like I think, yeah, the thing is Nunu's here, but we have to we have to like start it, bait it, and turn. That's like the steps to winning a fight right now. Bait Baron. Ooh. I wanna get his ult here, that'd be nice. I wanna get his ult here without dying. Okay, well I did get his ult there. I didn't die there. So mission success. Oh god, what is this? Oh, he has no ult here. I have Zanyas, we're gonna Zanyas this. I'm gonna flash you in a second. Oh, that was actually pretty close. I feel like if I would've got that last W to hit him, I would've got the shield and then maybe I could've even killed him. Kinda close. So let's recall, or let's sell this and get Blight and Jewel. Which is kinda like a new item that's a mini Void Staff, so it's like a bit of magic pen before you could finish the whole thing. And that's worth. We might even be able to end the game here. Probably not though. I think we just get the uh get the inhibitor. Yeah, we get inhibitor and we go for the dragon. We probably get dragon soul here as well. That's really good for us. How much more money do we need for void staff? 400? Okay, not too bad. Not sure where Shen's going. He's taking like a detour to the enemy jungle for no reason. But okay. They're definitely going to look to try to stop my team at this dragon here. But I think my team will just burst it pretty quickly. Sadly, it's an earthquake, so those are a little bit tankier. But I still think with ADC and Graves, we do enough damage to just take it. Yeah, we, now we have Earth Soul. Nice, that's really, really good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I guess I can do that too. That's even better. Okay, I'm on my way. I am on my way to kill. Oh, and also, guys, I'm going to be hosting a 2v2 tournament soon. Um, I plan on hosting sometime uh, after Christmas, maybe like between Christmas and New Year, something around there. Maybe a little bit after New Year. I'm still deciding the exact date. I'm going to host a 2v2 tournament for some RP, and I'm going to be streaming it. So if you guys are interested in playing in that, make sure you join my Discord, because it's going to be announced, and the signups are going to be through there. I might make it through YouTube as well. I don't know, but it'll be fun, and I'm excited to do it. So if you wanted to play in a tournament, make sure you join my Discord, which the link's in the description. Because I will be making the announcement on there before anywhere else. And maybe the slots will fill it if you are not there. And it's going to be an NA. 
See, so you could be on Europe, you could be a European player, but you need to make sure you have an NA account. Okay, Zanyas is up, I'm down to just going here. I think I'm still dead though. Oh, do I live? Oh no! That's gonna cry. That was almost me living. Uh, if I would have Zanyas a little bit earlier, like right away, I think it would have been a lot better. So I kind of Zanyas after everything hit me. Still pretty close. And I think they use like a lot of sums and stuff. So it's it's really not that bad. <laughs> me rationalizing with myself. And it's kind of crazy to me guys, I've been making videos now for like over a year. Like pretty semi-consistent video making for like over a year. So like if you watch my videos for like over a year, can you like let me know in the comments? Like I'm just like curious, like I want to like know who's watched my videos for like a long time. And if you haven't, like that's totally fine too, like you know, we love everyone. But it's like a long time, so if you guys have been like following me for like a year and like still do it, thank you. Alright, Jin is fourth shotting people. Aesol is menacingly going into behind. I am taking blue buff. I'm not just taking blue buff, I'm taking the whole jungle. I think that we should still go for uh, for Baron here soon though. Should be pretty free. And my ult right now is doing a maximum of like a thousand damage. Okay, so we think, I think that he's pinging over here because there might be like someone. Red buffs up, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. My red buffs up. I love red buffs. I love taking, I love jungle camps. All right, let's. Uh, I don't think we can two. We can two man this. Although it would be nice. Yeah, we shouldn't try it. He's right. He is right. He is right. We just need to group, I think, as a team, and then just get like a kill or something. I'm even debating getting a second stopwatch here, just so I can do like a double stopwatch cheese. Because we all, we only need to win one team fight, right? Like if we win one team fight, we just win the game. So low key, I just want to go in here. Alright, there was actually an opportunity, I think, for me to just go in on Aesol, but that opportunity will come back. And now my ult's doing a maximum of like 1.2k damage or something, and the cooldown's pretty short. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go to Baron. Like, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of them playing passive, we just go Baron. And I'm gonna break this cone here because this is how Nunu can get over the wall. Ooh, we could, I guess. Yeah, this is like an I guess we can kind of thing. Okay, I don't want to fight Aesol that much. Oh, if he lands that though, then we can. Okay, and I think we actually just end the game now. So nice. Well, we don't really have a minion wave, so on the second hand, maybe we don't end the game right now. If we had a minion wave, we would quite easily, but because we don't, I think we just have to. Yeah, we still might. Our wave's coming in hot. Yeah, our team's just like, alright, just do it regardless. I'm dead, but he said too. Uh, and we are going to end the game here, for sure. Because we have the wave, so we can actually deal damage to the turrets. So I kind of like died a lot this game, so I don't feel good about that. But I still think that we played well, and the early game I think we played pretty well, considering that like Nunu gained us level 2, and the matchup was just kind of weird. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and for always watching my videos if you do. I'm going to show you guys the damage graph always uh, of this game before we, you know, end it. I'm guessing I didn't do, I'm guessing I did like almost... Like, very little. Oh, I did second most on my team. I guess we take those. But, okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.